First off, I would, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and salutation so that I came across the four corners of the globe who uh, teach this truth and sincerity. Uh, I want to get into a topic. Uh, the title of this video is going to be Envy Not a Sinner. Uh, first scripture I want to get into is Proverbs 23 and 17. Um, and the reason why I'm, I'm bringing out this topic is because I know me, um, when I see the wicked prosper, when I see them, you know, prosper in his life, I kind of, I, I get, I get frustrated a little bit, you know what I mean? But you, you have to check yourself and you have to remind yourself that, Hey, we in a, we're in captivity and B, this is America. So the, it's not wise the story of riches here, knowing that what this, that the judgment of this place is fire. Right, uh, Proverbs twenty three and seventeen. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh all the day long. Right, let not thy heart envy sinners. Right, let not thy heart envy sinners. So you don't want to, you don't want to envy, envy, envy sinners. Like Esau, he has all the blessings of this world, which that was his blessing. Right, he has the fatness of the earth, but our our blessing is the kingdom to come, which is going to last forever. Right. Like I said earlier, it's not it's not a wise thing to establish your riches here in America. You have nukes coming, right? You have all out hell coming to America. Lord willing, it, it come this year, right? So it's not um, it's not a, uh, it's not wise to, to want to stay rich. I mean, because you're going to be tempted, right? I can always say, hey, you want to be one comfortable, not too comfortable. If you're too comfortable, you're going to be more tempted. You're going to be more tempted to do to do something you're probably not supposed to do. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Right? Another scripture I want to get. Uh, no, not in my notes. Here, let me get back. So I can. Another scripture I want to get is Luke 6 and 24. Oh, sorry. Luke 6 and 24. It says... Um, yeah, I was shy speaking. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received a consolation. So like, uh, woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Yeah, right, right. Woe unto you. Destruction. That's what woe means. Destruction. Unto you that are rich. You receive your blessing already. You, you receive the things of this world. Even Yahweh was tempted by the devil. Right. He was brought up and he was the devil offered him the, the things of this world. And Yahweh shall refuse it for the kingdom to come. Right? Same, that's what we have to do. Right? I mean, to be rich in this world, you got to do some, some foul shit, man. I mean, look at the artists. Look at the celebrities. You know, uh, I watched a couple of interviews where rappers, um, they brought out things that happened uh, in parties and the reason why they can't get fame and the reason why they're not noticed uh, because they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't go in a room and bend over for Esau, basically. You know, it's fucked up. Then you got to sacrifice your family. You might have to sacrifice your mom. You know, the shit that they're doing in this world is corrupt, man. It's, it's, it's ran by your enemy, right? You know, and if you don't believe me, just look at your dollar bill. Uh, Psalms, let me get Psalms 73 and 3. Okay, Khan, this is uh, actually going into Esau. This is Psalms 73 and 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men. Right, they're not, you know, Esau is not the wicked. Esau is not, he's not in, in trouble as other men. He doesn't get, so when he gets pulled over, he doesn't have to worry about the same thing you, you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans do, right? You know, I've seen Edomites cuss out cops. I've seen videos of Edomites cussing out cops. You know, Jake can't even reach for his fucking license without getting blasted. You know, you had that one video that came out last year. Um, the cop pulled over this, I believe this, she was a, yeah, she was a white lady, because uh, he said, um, he said, don't worry, because she was scared to reach for something, I believe. And 
He was like, don't worry, we only we only do that. We only because she was like, I don't want y'all to shoot. And he was like, we only do that to black people. We only so they know what the fuck they doing, man. They know what the fuck they doing. All right, they look at you funny. You know they don't. You know they they're made and they're created to hate you. They're made and I don't. I hate they fucking ass. And I you know I, I hope this death that's coming to, uh, for them comes comes fast. Um, let me start at. Five is Psalm seventy three and five. It says they are not um, in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride can pass them about as a chain. Violence covereth them as a garment. Right. So they they're proud, man. They're proud. They're not in trouble as other men. So of course they're gonna be that. They're, they're proud. They're not under the curses, man. We're under the curses because we we went against our power. We went against our power, right? Says their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than the, uh, they have more than heart could wish. Man, they have more than the heart can wish, right? I, you see, I mean, they 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 live in the best houses. They drive the best cars. They own, like I said, they look at the dollar bill. Look, look, your grandfather's not on a dollar bill. Their grandfather's on a dollar bill. You so you know who's running the, running the world. The world is given into the hands of the wicked. The world is given into the hands of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, right? But the reason why I say not envy is because we know what's coming to them and we know what's coming to us. So if you do envy, if you do envy the wicked, just understand, hey, we got a kingdom that's coming that's going to be everlasting. And it's not going to be overthrown. Scriptures say lay your uh, treasures up in heaven where dust nor moth uh, can't corrupt nor thieves can break in and steal. All right. So quick lesson I want to 